God said, I'll be it for you. I'm your everything. That's what he told Moses to tell Israel. While they was down in bondage. He said, Moses, you tell them. Moses wanted to know, who shall I tell your peoples who sent me? He said, Moses, you tell them that I am that I am. I'll be whatever you need me to be. When it comes to crossing the the, 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 the Red Sea, I'll be the bridge to take you over. When you're in the wilderness and no food to eat, I'll be the shopping center there for you. <laughs> I'll be the light in darkness. I am that I am. He's my everything. Why should you worry? Why should you fret? When your God is your everything. He's my everything. So why are we worried? If God is our everything, why am I worried, Brother John? Why do I fret? Though the enemy, hey, the summit run near and said, they kept about me. They had me surrounded. But he said, I saw when they stumbling fail. Lord have mercy. They was planning on destroying me. But God being my everything. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry. Daniel in the line then will tell you. The three Hebrew boys, we got all kind of record to show us. God is our deliverer. He's our keeper. He's our provider. He's our healer. He's our deliverer. He's our encourager. And the revelator writer said, one of these old days, he's going to wipe all tears from our eyes. Lord have mercy. No more heartaches, no more headaches, no more diabetes, no more high blood pressure. We got something to look forward for. He's our everything, Clausel. Uh, I'm so glad I found that out. Because I was the one of those persons that was always trying to prepare for tomorrow. Trying to figure out how I'm going to handle it tomorrow. And I found out that if I just cast all of my cares upon him, he cares for me. And in some, the, the, the writer began to write in, in the sixth chapter of Matthew. And he said, Lord, our Father, which art in heaven, give us this day. Don't worry about tomorrow. Here, tomorrow is sufficient of itself. Give me what I need this day. And the, the old folks say, if I please him, he'll give me tomorrow. <laughs> if he please with me, he'll give me tomorrow. One day at a time is all we need. One day at a time. Tomorrow is not promised to us. But eternal life, them that in Christ Jesus, eternal life is promised to each and every one of us. Tomorrow is not promised. But eternal life. If you're in Christ Jesus, you can guarantee you got eternal life. After I leave this old earth, I'm going to live again. That should be our utmost concern. What will I end up in eternity? Where will I end up in eternity? Today is so uncertainty. We live in a world of uncertainty. We got people that lead in our country. We don't know what they'll do. We don't know how they're going to respond or how they act. You better put your trust in God. You better put your trust in God. Amen. We do thank the Lord. We are so happy. I, you know, that was a song as I was thinking this morning. I heard the testimonies going forward. And this song fell in my heart. I wish I could sing. <laughs> but the song said, if anyone would ever write my life story, if anyone would ever write Levi's life story, 
you make sure. Don't worry about the things that I, I, I may have accomplished in life. But you make sure to let them know that Levi said Jesus was the best thing that ever could have happened to me. Jesus is the best thing that ever could happen to me. I thank God for Jesus Christ. I won't be before you long. I have no intention. But we, our heart and soul is rejoicing in the God of our salvation. And we ask you to keep in mind in remembrance of those that are, are ill, those that are at home and not able to be in this service, but yet some are able to hear uh, by our airway. And we thank the Lord for technology that we have that those sitting at home can hear the word of God and participate in this service. We ask you to continue to remember Ella Larkin and Sister Paulette Byers and Sister Carrie Byers and Deacon Smith and even Brother Thomas. I don't see him here today. Remember him and so many others that are absent from this service today. Whatever the cause may be, we ask you to remember them in your prayers. In the book of First King, the Old Testament Bible, very familiar chapter, very familiar book, very familiar story. 18th chapter of First Kings. Yeah, First Samuel, Second Samuel, First King. Uh, and there we'll uh, begin our reading at the 41st verse. And we ask you to pray for us, pray for us. I remember our spiritual leaders of this great apostolic, Pentecostal Apostolic Incorporated, Bishop Lamar Gates and all of our other leaders. Pray that God will continue to give them wisdom and understanding that they may stay in the will of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, and one half, first King, 1841, 18th chapter and affordable first verse. How you feeling, Stephanie? Good to see you, daughter. My daughter, good to see you. Amen. Sister Lisa, good to see you. Uh, we'll find these words. As the man of God was going through some things in his life and he had his ups and downs, but God was there to encourage this great man. This man that we're about to read about is one of the great old prophets. For the first verse says, and Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat, to drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Mount Carmel, to the top of Carmel. And he cast himself down upon the ground and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, go up now, look towards the sea, which was the Mediterranean Sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said, go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arise a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up and say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot and get 
thee down, that the rain stopped thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heavens was blackened with cloud and wind, and there was a great rain. And Ahab rose and went to Jezreel, and the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah. And he girdled up his loins and ran before Ahab to enter of Jezreel. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence this morning. We thank you, Lord, for watching over us as we slumbered and slept last night. Not knowing what came upon us, but you protected us. You are our keeper. You are our provider. You're the one that watches over us. We thank you for your word that comes, Lord, to heal, to encourage, and to deliver. We thank you so much for your love that you continually show towards us, Lord. When many times we're not worthy, we're not worthy of your great love. But you are so concerned about us. You are God of love. And you know each and every one of our hearts. You know what we desire. You know the struggle in life. My God, we ask you today, encourage through your word. Yes. Send a word to somebody today, Lord. Yes. Oh God, that they will give them just a little more strength yes. to hold on a little while longer. To encourage one another, Lord. Yes. We thank you today. And we look for thy blessing. We expect thy blessing today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I would like for us to look, uh, draw my text from this 43rd verse, this 43rd verse, and he said to his servant, go up, he said to his servant, go up now, look towards the sea, and he went up and looked and said, there's nothing. And he said, go again seven times. From this scripture, I would like to leave a thought with you. Go and take another look. Go and take another look. This story, uh, this situation that happened, Sister Lenore, in the Bible, <clears throat> happened during the time when uh, this great prophet, Elijah, one of the mighty prophets of God, uh, God raised him up in a time when Israel was in disarray. Israel, the nation, had gone the way of a dark path. Uh, this nation had strayed away from God. They had forsaken God's house and began to go out under the hills and on the groves where the trees was gathered and they was worshiping idol gods. Amen. They had found another God that was not the God of Israel. Amen. They had found the God that could not see. Amen. They had found them a God that could not speak, could Amen. not heal, could not deliver them. And they had cut down a tree and 
shaped it in the shape of a man and overlaid him with silver and gold and said, this be our God. A God that can't even talk. You talk about critical time. You talk about desperate times. You talk about dark days. Any time uh, that we call wrong right don't know our left hand from our right hand. Don't know who God is. This is the state that Israel was in. They had forsaken the house of the Lord. It caused God anger to rise up. And, and, and God called this prophet Elijah. Strange prophet, an old man there, but he was strange. No one had seen a prophet like Elijah. He came from nowhere, stepped into Israel, Samaria, and told Ahab that he was king with his wicked wife. Told him, says, for three and a half years, God won't shut up the heavens because of your foolishness, because of your ungodliness, because you have forsaken the way of your fathers and gone and followed after Baal, Jezebel, the God of Jezebel, the God of Baal. And he told Ahab, seven years, three years and a half, there would be no rain. So it was. God upheld this man's word. And there was a drought in the land. There was a drought in the land, and, 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 and things was in, in terrible shape. There was famine in the land, no food. Animals was dying. The ground would not produce because no rain. And now this man, Elijah, come again to face this, 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 this wicked king. And, and, and you know this king had the nerve to tell the man of God, you the one that troubled all Israel. You, you, you caused this to come. He didn't allow his wife and himself to lead the people wrong. But now when the man of God come, because the man of God tell him what God going to do, and the heaven was shut up, now he's angry at the man of God and said, you caused this problem. But I tell you something. In days like this, in days that we're in today, Clausel, in days that we're living in today, when wickedness seems like it's rampage and don't seem like no justice. Hallelujah. Nowhere you, you, you they, 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 they tell us that uh, our, our, in this great country, it's like liberty, justice is blind. But I found out that that's a lie. Ah, there's no, there's no justice, but just, just us. No justice at all. So it was in the day of Elijah. No justice. And men were blinded. And, and God raised up this prophet, Elijah, to come. And, and, and after he had met with the king, told the king, look here. Uh, that seemed to be a problem. We got a problem here. Hallelujah. God's folks has turned away from the true and living God yes. and are serving dumb idols. Uh, God says, I, I, I want to show something. You know, God has a way of getting our attention. Yes. God has a way of getting our attention. Are you looking? Are you listening? Are you watching? Because God God not only speaks through human beings, but God speaks through his creation. 
the earth, the stars, the heavens. They declare God's word. They speak to us. Are you listening? Are you watching? Are you looking? The heavens were shut up. Now, after three and a half years, Elijah appears again to King Ahab and he tell him, he says, it's time now for your people that you, you want to know why the heavens is shut up and not giving her rain and have not your crop produced. It's because of the sins of the people. It's because the sins of the people, you've turned away from God and God's been trying to get your attention. He says, now, it's time for Israel to make a decision. It's time for you, Ahab, to make a decision. It's time for God to reveal himself, the true and living God, to reveal himself to you. So what I want you to do now, uh, uh, King Ahab, you get all of your prophets, the, the 450 prophets of Baal and, and the 400 prophets uh, 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 of uh, uh, Jezebel. And I, 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 it's time for God to reveal himself to you. So I want you to meet me on Mount Carmel. I want you to go up and God going to reveal himself to his nation. God going to turn the hearts of his people back to him. Yes. So you meet me on Mount Carmel. And how will God going to show his hand? Uh, and look here, when, when you serve in the true and living God, when you walk in, in the commandments of God, you don't have to take down. You don't have to take a shortcut. You don't have to stand and scratching your head trying to figure out will God. Hallelujah. When you put your trust, you can depend on him. Hallelujah. Elijah told Ahab, said, you get all Israel and meet me up on Mount Carmel. God going to show his hand. God going to show his mighty power. God going to show you his act. If you really want to serve God, you're going to serve him. God going to reveal himself to you. They all met up on Mount Carmel. All of the prophets, the false prophets. 850 of them met up there. All dressed up in their nice robes and uh, got all the emblems of their God round their, their waistline in the the edge of the garment. And Elijah said to the old prophet, uh, you got unto noonday. From the, from the rising of the sun to noonday, you got call up on your God. Yeah. See, God's going God to show you if you really want to know who he is, he's going to reveal himself to you. Yes. Yes. Elijah told him, said, if your God is God, we'll serve him. But if my God yes. be God, yes. you serve him. Hallelujah. Now, I, I, let me back her back this up. Because Elijah didn't say if your God be God, we'll serve him. And Elijah knew, you go back and read it. Elijah knew what but one God. Yes, come on. And he said, if your God be God, he said, but if my God be God, we'll serve him. Hallelujah. He made it plain. Mm -hmm. Gather your people. So all the Baal prophets, they got together. And they had from morning to noon to call upon their God to, to make Baal reveal himself to them. And they began to call upon Baal. Mm -hmm. The Bible said they called upon him. And they called and Baal would not answer. Baal would not answer. How in the world, how stupid can you be to call up on a piece of wood and expect the wood to answer you when you done went out and cut it down? You done shaped it. Then 
you gonna call upon him to ask him to answer you? We're living in that day and time right now. Hey, glory, hallelujah. Men, ungodly men, the living ungodly and talking about a holy God that they serving a holy God ungodly and you gonna tell me you serving a holy God God said I'm holy I want you to be holy then you can call up on me and surely I will answer thee they was calling upon a dumb eye and they called and they called Baal could not answer, would not answer. And Elijah began to taunt them. You know, <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. Mr. Dale, I'm so glad I know who God is. I'm so glad I know who God is. Because I can walk in assurance. I don't have to be nervous about what I believe. I don't have no doubt in what I believe. Elijah. As they was calling up on that God, he wasn't somewhere in the corner saying, oh God, don't let him answer. Oh God, no, no, no. He had a short. Yes. Yes. Walked over to them and said, call a little bit louder. Yes. When, you, when you have a short that you're living, you walk with God, you don't fear no other religion. Yes. You don't fear these false preachers out here, these false teachers. Call him a little bit louder. Yeah. They began to call him. He said, wait a minute. Maybe he's chasing your enemy. Maybe he's on the run. He's trying to catch your enemy. Reason why he haven't called. He haven't answered you. So go check the washroom. He might be in the washroom. You can talk like that when you serve the true and living God. After a while. <laughs> After a while, the prophets understood that they in trouble. That's right. So they said, well, maybe Baal, if we cut ourselves and he see us bleeding. You know, he, he might be looking for a blood sacrifice. Now they want to ease over to godliness. Now they want to go into the scripture and say, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. So they start cutting themselves. Said so maybe Bell will answer. I'm gonna cut myself and show some blood. Bell still didn't answer. Lord have mercy. And Elijah said, All right, that's enough now. Y'all done call up on him. Hallelujah. It's time for us to have church now. Hallelujah. Y'all, y'all had a form of religion. Y'all was acting like sanctified folks. He said, but now it's time for the Pentecostal to take over. For the apostolic to move. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, uh, Elijah came. Uh, the altar that they had built for Baal. Uh, he kicked it down. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, if you want to walk with God, uh, you got to get rid of uh, everything uh, that is not like God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you got to start uh, from the rock, uh, the rock of salvation. Uh, and that rock uh, is Jesus Christ. Uh, you got to build uh, upon a foundation uh, that's been tried. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, Elijah. Uh, down that altar, ha. built God an altar, ha. hallelujah, ha. and he built that altar, ha. and he took the sacrifice, ha. laid it up on the altar, ha. poured water upon it, ha. dug a trench around the altar, ha. the altar ha. drenched with water, ha. the trench ha. filled with water, ha. it's time now, ha. hallelujah, ha. for the God of Abraham, ha. the God of Isaac uh, and the God of Jacob uh, to show himself uh, his time uh, for the God of creation uh, that stood up uh, upon the cradle of the earth uh, and declared uh, that I am God uh, and beside me uh, there are no other God uh, hallelujah uh, Elijah uh, stood back uh, and he looked up in the heaven uh, he said now Reveal yourself.
yourself, Lord. Show your glory, Lord. Show your mighty act, Lord. Fire came down from heaven. Burned up the sacrifice. Licked up the water. All Israel saw the work of God. Israel said, truly, Elijah, God is the God. In our life, huh? hallelujah, huh? And God will allow huh? certain things huh? to happen in our life, huh? to reveal himself huh? to a dying world. Huh? Sometimes huh? God huh? will allow huh? the enemy huh? to come into your house, huh? wreck your house, huh? hallelujah, huh? and you got to still stand huh? upon the word of God. Huh? stand if you're standing by yourself you have to stand and knowing that God my God he the creator of the universe and he loved me I don't care what's going on in my life I'm depending upon God I'm trusting in the God of my salvation. Now, I know he lives. Hey, glory be to God. I can hear Job says, I searched for him. I couldn't find him. But I know he lives. And one of these old days, I'm going to look upon him. In the latter day, I shall see him. Not another. Not a bear. But Jehovah. Jireh, Jehovah, Cheshnu, Jehovah, the Almighty God, I shall see him. Elijah called upon God, and God showed up, and whenever God showed up, God showed out, God come with a mighty hand, if you believe, if you're expecting something of God, God said, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. If you look in for healing, God said, I got healing. I heard, hallelujah, the writer declared, one of these old days, I don't know when, but if you're searching, if you're waiting on him, I heard him say, he shall come with healing. In his wings, he shall come with blessing from the heavens. Hallelujah! Good God Almighty, I see all Israel standing there looking now. They know who God is, and they said, This God, the God of Elijah, we will serve him. We will serve him, great God. Now we come to our text. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. God then showed himself to all Israel. And I hear Elijah, great God of mine. He goes up after Jezebel get the message that he killed all her prophets. And Jezebel threatened uh, the man of God. Uh, says, uh, you kill my prophets. Uh, I'm going to kill you. Uh, so Elijah uh, got on the run. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, this is a good example uh, for us today. Uh, 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 when you win uh, a battle against Satan, uh, he uh, going to come after you. Uh, he going to come after you. Uh, he going to mount up. Uh, he going to galvanize uh, his enemies. Uh, and he going to come after you. Uh, told Elijah, uh, I'm going to kill you. Uh, just like the prophet died. Uh, you going to die. Uh, Elijah uh, got on the run. Uh, Elijah uh, went, uh, got up on the Jupiter tree uh, and began uh, to talk to God. Uh, he went to sleep uh, and God uh, let him sleep.
up a while. Huh? Woke him up. Huh? Wake up, man of God. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? The journey huh? is too great for you. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Hey, glory. Huh? Sometime huh? the journey huh? get too great huh? for the people of God. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Sometime huh? the burden huh? seems so hard to bear. Huh? Sometime huh? seem like huh? there's no hope. Huh? Sometime huh? it get dark huh? in our life. Huh? But God huh? is still on the throne. Huh? God huh? is still in control. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Ride to go. Huh? Get on the Jupiter tree. Huh? Go to sleep. Huh? God come. Huh? You ain't to wake him up. Huh? Got food for you. Huh? Got water for you. Huh? He'll feed you huh? in a dry huh? and thirsty lane. Huh? God huh? will prepare a table huh? in the presence huh? of your enemy. Yeah. God, huh? there's nothing huh? too hard for God. Huh? He went, huh? woke him up, huh? fed him. Huh? Elijah ate, huh? went back to sleep, huh? woke him up again, huh? fed him. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Told him, huh? go on the journey now. <laughs> Elijah huh? went on the journey. Huh? Still no rain. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? But the man of God, huh? Hallelujah, huh? knew huh? that he said huh? the true and living God. Huh? So the man, huh? he went back. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? I can hear God say huh? to the saints of God today, huh? when you huh? can't get an answer, huh? when you huh? are going through, huh? when your trials huh? and tribulation huh? are so great, huh? I can hear the man of God say, huh? Go back huh, where you first met him. Huh? Go back huh, where you first met Jesus. Huh? Go back. Huh? I heard somebody say, huh? take me back. Huh? Take me back, Lord. Huh? Where we first met. Huh? Go back to Mount Sinai. Huh? That's God's sanctuary. Huh? That's what God gave his law. Huh? From Mount Sinai. Huh? Went back. Huh? Got down. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? himself before God. Uh, pray. Uh, told his son, uh, go look. Uh, see what you see. Uh, Simon came back. Uh, nothing. Uh, I heard him say, uh, go back again. Uh, my God. Uh, he's a prize in God. Uh, my God. Uh, he can't fail. Uh, my God. Uh, he's a provider. Uh, my God. Uh, control the universe. Uh, go back. Uh, Seven time, uh, he went back. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, when things uh, are not going uh, the way you think it should go, uh, you pray. Uh, don't stop praying. Uh, go back. Uh, pray again. Uh, go back. Uh, pray again. Uh, tell God, uh, Lord, I need you. Uh, I can't make it without you. Uh, I can't go no further. Uh, I'm weary. Uh, I'm worn. Uh, I'm tired. Uh, Lord, I need to hear from you. Uh, seven times. Uh, the servant went back. Uh, came back. Uh, oh, God. Uh, with a message. Uh, wasn't very much. Uh, but he had a message. Uh, God revealed himself. Uh, he said, hey, uh, I see something. Uh, coming out of uh, the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, it's coming. Not a storm, huh? but just a little cloud huh? about the size huh? of a man's hand. Huh? Elijah said, yeah, Get up, huh? Lord, have mercy. Huh? I hear abundance of rain. Huh? You've been waiting huh? a long time. Huh? God says, huh? The heavens are huh? going to open up. Huh? Your blessing huh? is about to come. Huh? Your blessing is huh? going to be abundant. Huh? about to come. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Huh. Don't you give up. Huh. Just keep 
keep looking. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Keep hope alive. Huh? Look with expectation. Huh? Look to see your blessing. Huh? Look to see changes in your life. Huh? Look to see huh? God move huh? on your behalf. Another look. 